people say they can't control their weeds, well, that's because they don't work at it. For the first time in nearly a decade, more pesticides are legal in Manitoba. And while they may save you some time in the yard, not every Winnipegger is behind the change. These things kill the the bugs, everything that keeps our flora and fauna going. Get out there and pull your own weeds. Amendments to the Environment Act will now allow Manitobans the flexibility to use federally approved cosmetic pesticides that haven't been allowed in Manitoba for seven years. According to Climate and Parks Minister Jeff Wharton, but some Winnipeggers working on their gardens Monday recoil at the idea. A few years ago I had a flowering crab apple tree in my backyard. Somebody was killing broadleaf plants in their driveway, the windy day. It wiped out a tree that had been there for 20 years. And so I think that it's, it's, it's bad. I don't like the idea of pesticides at all. I think there's a natural way to do it. If they're going to use it, I hope they spray it so that it's downwind from me. I don't want it drifting over to me. The province says more than 60% of respondents to their pesticide survey indicated the restrictions on the sale and usage of pesticides for cosmetic use were too strict, and over 70% wanted to see the current restrictions reduced or rescinded. Max Werniski, general manager of Neutralon, says this aligns with what he's heard since the restrictions have lifted. A lot of our customers are extremely excited. We are pumped like you can't believe because this is going to be a, a, a changer for everybody so everybody get a nice green fresh lawn again and not deal with the weeds. As long as everything is applied properly there shouldn't be any worries uh, for ourselves like we make sure that we keep our distances away from gardens and stuff because we don't want to contaminate any of the fruits and vegetables people are growing. Werniski says the newly legalized pesticides are much cheaper which will help businesses like his but a resident we spoke to Monday says there is a danger in giving the average person access to more potent pesticides and worries about accidents happening. If they're allowing these heavy-duty pesticides to come within the city limits, all it's going to take is one kid. And then all these counselors are going to go, oh me, oh my, what happened? In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.